So, yes, this is the exact same box y'all saw from two days ago. In that video, y'all thought I was mad. Well, I kind of was, but I was also frustrated, too. I mean, I wasn't, like, mad mad, like, rage quit mad. I was just, like, kind of a bit frustrated. So, yep, uh, this is actually one of the Funko Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles plushies. And one of them was not Michelangelo. I'll show you guys who he was. So, here we go. Here it is. Let me turn the flashlight on. So, yep, it was Donatello. Uh, like I said, this is actually based on the 1990 movie from 33 years ago. This one's made by Funko, and here's the other one right here. I think this one came out in 2016. Because I look on the, the tag right here. I know y'all cannot see those little texts. The little letters it says it's from 2016 and we're going to do a comparison of this in another video so let's go ahead and take the tag off of donatello here for the funko plush and see what he looks like without the tag on all right guys so here's donatello right here without, without the tag on so what's really weird about this one like i said this is based on the one from the 1990s movie like the First one from 33 years ago, which that one has Corey Feldman playing Donatello. And what's really weird, he has freckles. Which I've never seen that in the cartoon, but I have seen that in the original live action movies. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, this plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, Subscribe. And it was also kind of a bit of an unboxing because I got it out of the box too. Alright, guys, so I got a big old box here I got from Amazon two days ago. Now, yes, the last unboxing that y'all saw was actually from this morning. Well, kind of an unboxing. But uh, the one that y'all originally saw two days ago, I was kind of a bit frustrated, which I kind of wasn't mad. Well, I ten technically I was, but I wasn't like all the way mad. But I'm going to show you guys what's on I got. So here we go. The plushie that y'all originally supposed to saw me unbox two days ago, but never got a chance to unbox it. So it's the Funkos uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Michelangelo plush. I also got another thing, too, that's pretty cool that I am actually wanting to show you guys what it is. Saw this at Walmart, so here, you, here we go. Now, yes, this is from Mutant Mayhem. This is called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sewer Shredders by Funrise. And I'm unboxing the next video, and also the... Review the Michelangelo, like, right now. So, here he is. Um, this is the one that y'all originally supposed to see me on box two days ago, but they handed me Donatello instead. So, here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag tags off and see what he looks like. So, here we go. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, here's Michelangelo's uh, plushie without the tags on. And this plush unboxing and review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. But anyway, guys, be guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So we are doing an unboxing of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sewer Sh Sewer Sh Shredders Mikey by Funrise. Um, you can get this at Walmart, but the problem is it has a little tag on it, so. This is in a box, so let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the box. But before we do, here's the other characters you get in the set. We really, really want that Leonardo one. There's Mikey, which who we're unboxing and reviewing right now. Raph and Donnie. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box, shall we? All right, guys. So here he is out of the box. He has like two, two cool gimmicks. He has this one. 
He swings his nunchucks. You can't take him off the board. But he also has a pretty cool gimmick, too. Because you guys can tell, I am... Hold on. That's the other gimmick. And this uh, figurine review is going to get a 100 out of 100. So with the unboxing. But uh, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. So I am back with another plush video. And um, yes, I got this two days ago from Walmart. And yes, um, it's like the Leonardo one I reviewed from the end of July, which was almost two months ago. That yes, um, these plushies are also in Walmart. I mean, the only one that was left was Michelangelo. I mean, the other ones are just Leonardo, which again, I reviewed. So this one, we're reviewing Michelangelo. Now, yes, I did do a Michelangelo video, like, yesterday on the Funko plush and the little sewer shredders thing that has like a McDonald's gimmick to it but yes this is Michael Angelo and yes we all know who's made by Mattel so here he is from the front the side other side the back which I'm not which I'm kind of not crazy about the printing printing on detail on the plush but I'm not complaining I kind of like the plush so yeah let's go ahead and take the little belt clip off and the tag off see what he looks like without the tag on all right guys okay guys I'm sorry if I uh, mispronounced alrighty guys which I don't normally say that in some of my other videos but uh here's the tag uh, there we go, so, um, pretty well detailed, like, I mean, not detailed, detailed, I mean, it's a pretty cool plush, and, uh, this plush review is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred, but anyway, guys, if you guys like, oh, and before I say like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for an unboxing video tomorrow, but still, like, comment, subscribe.